Hey there. How are y'all doing? It's Dawn here from 10 Kilos Bath and Body. And today we're going to make some bath salts. And so I thought I would um, share this video with you and show you what I'm doing. Now, um, I cannot tell you what I'm, the exact amounts of whatever I'm putting in here. Because I did purchase this recipe from Two Wild Hairs. And I know you're thinking, why would you purchase a bath salt recipe? Well, I needed some inspiration. And... I personally am not against purchasing recipes from other soapers because you're helping somebody out and it saves you some time and money. I see nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people say, don't buy a recipe, make up your own. Nobody said you can't make this your own. This is just a base. This is just a start and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, it just gives you a, a, a starting place. Let me see if I... There we go. Get this bow in the camera. Okay, so first we're going to start with our base. Now, um, when you purchase her recipe, you will get uh, pages and pages and pages of recipe ideas, recipes, you know, ideas. You could use them or not use them. And you'll get your basic base blend. And I believe on the listing, it tells you the things that you will need to make the recipe. But... Uh, we're going to add things in here today to make us a base. Now, this is a pretty empty bag, so I'm going to put some of this sea salt in there. Now, I got this off of uh, eBay. I, it said fine grains. It was not. It was was not as big as some sea salt, but it wasn't fine as fine that I like. The best fine green sea salt I've ever gotten was from Two Wild Hairs. Check them out. They are, um, are she, it's like a family run business. Um, the lady who runs it's just terrific. I mean, she, if I have any questions, she's right there to help me. And I know this is a busy lady with children and and everything else so so this is not going to be perfectly measured I'm just going to do a few cups in here it just depends on how much you want to make and I have um, a few different kinds I'm wanting to make I've not made bath salts in months and I don't know why but all of a sudden I'm wanting to make some bath salts and so we're going to put some um, sea salt in there and then I've got some Himalayan pink salt now I get this from Pam Vaccaro I think that's how you say her name um, she's on Facebook uh, VSW light I think it's her um, it's her what you call it name her business name Vaccaro Soap Works I think that's what it is she is from my um, State. Sorry, I don't mean to keep saying um. I can't think and do things. So she um. There, I'm sorry. There I go again. Menopause brain. Um. I'm gonna dump that in there. But she is from North Carolina, like me, and so I get her stuff pretty quick, and so I like that. Now I'm also gonna put some dead sea salt in here. Now I love dead sea salt, but do. Here's my dead sea salt. I got this from eBay. I like the Natural Elephant brand. You can get whatever you want. This is what I like. And I like the the um, way it's ground up. I like it back. And when I'm finished with things, I like to move them over here so I do not forget what I'm doing. Like I said, I have menopause brain. <laughs> I can't remember anything. You heard a baby brain? Well, honey, menopause brain is a whole lot worse. Let me tell you. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of uh, baking soda in here. But I will share a link in the description to the Two Wild Hair Shop where you can find this recipe if you want to purchase it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up all the clumps. Now, I had a customer ask me for some of this without any fragrance. 
She does not like fragrances. Um, I think she may be allergic. I think she may be allergic. Okay, and I have a few more things. I want to add some Epsom salt. Now, most of you probably know Epsom salt is not really salt. No, no, no. It's not. I didn't know this until I got into the Bath and Body Biz. But Epsom salt, let's see what it says it is. It is magnesium sulfate. Now, since I am going through menopause, I can tell you, as you age, you lose magnesium. Magnesium keeps the color in your hair. Did you know that? That's why your hair gets gray. But we just put some of that in there. And I just want to break up any clumps. And so once I get this mixed really, really well, I'm going to, I'm going to add a few more things to it. This is just my base. And to this base, I will add, you know, other stuff. But I am going to take some of this out for my customer. And I don't know how much she wants. I just know she wants some. I'll take her a cup or two out and then um, we'll figure that out for her. Okay, so the first kind I want to make is a, um, let me clean my hands off. I can't stand that feeling even on my gloves. I hate that dry sound. The first kind I want to make is uh, an up yellow honey. Now, this bath salt recipe is going to be foamy. And I'm going to make um, this whole batch into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dendritic salt. What this does is this anchors my fragrance. I'm going to get my trusty little cup here. Get some of this stuff. Put some of that in there. Put this to the side. Now, um, how much fragrance do I use? I'm going to use an ounce of fragrance. you got to keep in mind, this is going in a whole tub of water. I mean, this is not just something that's going to... This is from Rustic Essentials. And I love their fragrances. They are, they, their shipping kills me. but And I'll say it in every video because it bugs the snot out of me. But um, I do love... I love their fragrances. They, they're, they're nice. They're good quality. All their products I've gotten have been good quality. I, I get my um, foaming bath butter base from them. And then, of course, I make it into my beautiful creation. You know, this kind of smells a, a lot like their vanilla. So I think I'm going to put... Um, I've got another oatmeal and honey from... Fre uh, Crafter's Choice. It's from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm going to put a little of it in there. Just a little. Don't forget, this is going in a whole tub of water. I think I like their I like um, the Wholesale Supply Plus oatmeal and honey better than the rest of the essentials. Oh yeah, that's more what I want. Okay, so we got that mixed up. Now we're going to put some um, different little ingredients in here. Let me get my measuring spoon. Well, I can't tell y'all what this is, but if you go by the recipe, you can find out. You can find out what this powder is. 
And I know you're going to be guessing. What is that? What she put in there? Is that arrowroot powder? No, it's not arrowroot powder. I'm not telling y'all what it is. Because I want you to go buy that recipe because she's awesome and so is her company. So we're going to stir that up in here. And... Um, These things will anchor our scent. We're just going to dump it in here. That way, all of our scent will just go away. We hate when that happens, right? Now, since this is an oatmeal honey, bath salts, I want to put some colloidal oatmeal in here. Oh, yes, I do. Let me see. I took some out, I thought. I didn't. So let me go get me some colloidal. Okay. So y'all know I just use Equates colloidal oatmeal. Because it's completely 100% colloidal oatmeal. If y'all can see that. There we go. And why not use it? Now, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you know that I have been reorganizing my studio. Uh, I'm making some huge changes this month, and I'm kind of scared. Business decisions, um, it scares me sometimes. I mean, it's been super slow online. Uh, I have my products in Little Stitches in Taylorsville, and... Next week, I will also have my products at the Elk Emporium in Elk, in North Carolina. And then the next week, I will have some of my products in Claremont, North Carolina. And I'll give y'all more information when I learn it. Because right now, I don't know all the details about that place, except it's Magnolia something. I can't even remember the whole name, but the lady's super nice. And so, you know, I'm just... Whoo, I'm just a little scared. Now, I'm going to put some heavy cream powder in here. I love heavy cream powder. This is what goes in my lotion. If any of you have ever purchased my lotion. And I'm going to tell you what. Everybody loves my lotion. I'm not trying to brag on myself. But it's good lotion. I love it too. And this is something I put in it. And it's not a paid recipe. But it is a... Um, Recipe I learned somewhere, and I tweaked it and made it my recipe. I just got me a start learning, and then we're going to mix this up really good. And make sure that's everything on. Oh, I forgot one thing. We want to make it bubble. We're going to put some stuff in here and make it bubble. You can also buy this at Two Wild Hairs. And it will choke you up. I should put my mask on. <coughs> yeah. Get your hands in there and get them good and mixed up. There we go. Now what I do is I spread this out on a big old sheet. And then I let it dry for a few days. I don't, you don't want to package your bath salts wet. See, this is wet. This is, it's not bath bomb wet, but it, it's wet. You want to package them dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out. sheet. I'm just going to use some parchment paper. Ok. 
carefully, carefully dump this out. Yeah, I love bath salts. I, I've been making these. I used to make them for our church ladies before I ever even thought about making soap. I got a recipe off Martha Stewart. And uh, I used to watch her show all the time. It taught, she taught me lots of stuff about cooking. She don't even know. Cooking. I'm country. I say cooking. Oh, this is kind of relaxing. Woo. Okay, we're going to spread this out. Woo. Spread it out real good. Now, what I'll do is tomorrow, after this sits one day, I'll come and I'll turn it. And then I'll let it sit another day. Then... It should be dried out by then. This is going to go on the curing rack. And I'm going to write a little note and tell what it is. That way I don't forget what I make. And uh, thank y'all all for watching. Um, maybe I'll show you one more. Okay, I had to back it up a bit because I forgot the honey powder. Now, I love putting honey powder in my lotions and sometimes in my soap. I also get this from uh, <clears throat> Vaccaro Soapworks on Facebook. Pam, <clears throat> Pam is awesome. Check her out. VSW. It's a nice lady. And she gets your stuff to you quick. She has a flat rate shipping. So she'll tell you, hey, if you want a few more of them, they'll fit in your shipping box without any extra shipping charge and things like that. So let's mix that honey powder. Oh, if y'all could smell this. Oh my, I love oatmeal and honey scent. I just, it just smells so clean to me. And and down home and I think I'm not going to dump this whole thing I want to do two trays so let's do half because I want this to dry quicker I've got to stock that new store by Thursday and maybe I'll take some bath salts down there I'm hoping I'll do good I mean there's other soap people in there it's just they're a different type of soap they're more rustic um, still all natural like I am, or as natural as you can be. Yeah, I do try to put the best, best stuff in my stuff. The best ingredients. But I think there's room for plenty of soap makers, don't y'all? I mean, I couldn't make enough soap. for everybody in this world. Neither could you. So we all just need to work together, don't you think? I only know two other soapers in my actual area. And uh, we're all different. We all have different styles and um, different products. And they're very nice. I get along with both of them very well. Okay. Okay, on the dry deck. And those two will be labeled. And now let's make another one. So we're going to do our, our base all over again. And, um, except I may not make it so much. I think I'll... Oh, I'll make it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split it up. And this don't have to be perfect. This is just, you know, just have fun with it.
It's kind of satisfying. Okay. Um, we're going to use some lava sea salt. Just a little. Well, I got too much. Some Himalayan pink salt. Some baking soda. I actually buy this from Dollar General. It's like less than two bucks and it's really fine, and I like it for my bath bombs. I'm going to put some dead sea salt in here. And some Epsom salt. Now, this is not the recipe. This is just my recipe. I'm straight from the pad. Not that I can give y'all the recipe anyway, but okay. now let's mix this up real good. I like those black speckles with that pink. Now, I'll probably sell these in, um, you know, the little full pack with the clear front for online, and I'm going to put them in cute little jars for my brick and mortar stores that I have. But you want all the clumps up. Okay, I'm going to roughly split this batch in two. I want to make a um, a rose scented salt with vanilla and roses. So I'm going to get my fragrance ready here. And I'm going to use a little rose gem from uh, the Flaming Candle. And since this is in a big container, I'm going to whoops, 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 whoops. I'm making a mess. Let's throw that up a little bit. I'm going to measure it right here. And I'm going to put oh, about 20. Well. 15 to 20 grams. I did 18. And then I've got a vanilla. I want to add to that. Just a little. I'm making a big mess. Which seems to be my lot in life. Anybody else messy? I'm messy. I was the kid that broke all her mother's dishes. So when my kids break all mine, I kind of don't feel so bad for them. I mean, I don't be mean to them. I feel bad for them. I, I know how it feels to break your mom's dishes. I'm also going to put in some vanilla flavoring powder. 
stuff's really expensive, but uh, I think it, it adds something to the vanilla scent. I mean, it smells, it's like pure vanilla. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to mix that in. You know, when you're making high-end bath and body, you have to use high-end ingredients. And that's from Nature's Garden Candles. You can get that. And this is our beautiful vanilla rose fragrance. And then... I have some rose petals from my yard, my garden, that I dried. See how pretty these are? Oh. Now, if you don't want these in your bath water, don't worry. I will put, I'm going to put some, um, Tea bags with this so you can put this in tea bags and put it in your water bath water and let it steep I'll tell you what this is chock full of good stuff look at that oh it smells so good okay there's another batch done and I'm going to make a few more. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's not too long. And go to Two Wild Hairs and on Etsy and, and buy you some stuff. Get you some of her recipes. I love her bath bomb recipe. I use it and her salt recipe. So try them out and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Click that notification bell. And please leave me a comment. I'm trying to grow my channel. I've got 47 subscribers. Thankful for every one of y'all. But I would love to have thousands. So I'm trying to grow this thing. So thank you so much though. And find me on Facebook. Dinky Loves. DinkyLoves.com Y'all have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.